Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator and this is the debut of Outlaw Trucker. So if you want to see more realistic trucking experiences, you can check out my other videos. I will have Outlaw Trucker labeled in the title here uh, so you'll know which ones are different than the others. With that said, we have Oddfellows, beautiful classic XL, and we're going to be driving this thing. I decked it out to be pretty darn badass. It's got a skull on the front, a skull inside. We're here in uh, Pueblo. Colorado and we're going I don't know where I think we're going to Arizona um, and it's a urgent urgent delivery here at Avalanche Steel so let's go ahead and fire this thing up with a beautiful cat C-15 engine and she roars to life just like that look at this thing man this is the interior of the truck you can see we have it pretty chromed out and custom and we got a red light inside here and look at that shade on that <laughs> For the uh, visor, man. It's pretty ridiculous, I know. Trust me. I do know how ridiculous it is. So, uh, I have some ideas of what I want to do with the Outlaw Trucker series. Oh, there's what we're picking up right over there. Um, but uh, I'm open to suggestions of what you would like to see as well. Uh, okay, I moved my mirrors, but they don't look like they saved for whatever reason. Let me fix that real quick, and then we'll pick this trailer up and get going. All right, much better. Let's go ahead and uh, back up onto this thing. I don't have the advanced trailer coupling on, so who cares, right? We're just going to pick this thing up, and you can see the truck from the outside view. All right. I do have John Ruta's uh, Payware version of this truck, but I do like this one a lot uh, in all of its uh, ability to uh, be customized. So let's get going so with the outlaw trucker i want to let you know um we're going to be breaking laws we're gonna be going as fast as we can to get where we're going um and all that stuff i do also don't want to be like absolutely insane like ramming cars out of the way now if somebody cuts us off or something like that then that's a different story but we're not going to go out of our way to be a you know complete idiot so um i'm open to suggestions you know if you if you want to see that kind of driving let me know but this is not going to be realistic driving at all we're going to be an absolute jackass behind the wheel today. Kind of similar to what we've seen in our, uh, but I think it'll be a little more tame than the uh, the Florida man driving and all that stuff. So, but we're, like here, we're not going to wait around for forever. We're going to cut out into traffic here and they're going to have to stop for us. Just like that. See that? Look at that. <laughs> we're an outlaw, man. We don't, we're not messing around. Screw them. We're more important than them. We gotta get this we gotta get this load where it needs to go, man. Nice Colorado, by the way, there. That was cool. All right. If you want to know what I use, it's all linked in the description below. You can check it out there. Uh, yeah, we're already in that. Seven low there. I haven't tried out the Jake on this thing yet. Let's see what this is like. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. So we'll be using Jake brakes inside of the... Uh, city limits and all that stuff too because you know hey we're an outlaw come on let's do it uh slow down here so we're still gonna drive like normal but i mean we could do something like you know passing uh traffic like that and all that so we'll see how that goes but the basics of uh, outlaw trucker to me is to be you know speeding not worried about that stuff you know, being uh, being an absolute jackass behind the wheel, doing the job, getting it where it needs to go, but not going out of the way to be ridiculous. You know what I mean? I think there's going to be something there for everybody if I do it that way. But like I said, open to suggestions from all y'all. This is a nice truck, man. I forgot how much I love this truck. Actually, you know, let's, let's keep, keep to that view. Oop, can't find it, grind it. Yeah, we're gonna be turning left. Yeah, I'm grinding a lot. Grinding a lot there. There we go. We're good. But I can tell you the basics. We got a GT track by Next Level Racing. Uh, that was provided to me by them. Uh, that's what my whole rig is mounted on. Then I got a Thrustmaster TSPC Racer. No, nope, you can wait for me. Uh, TSPC Racer. Then we've got the uh, the Ferrari wheel, uh, and then I took the rim off of that. Actually, you know, we're going to stick to this view. Yep, this one right here. Uh, then we have the uh, the Rickmo Tech adapter that has my NRG Innovations wheel on it. Like this, we're not going to wait for this. We're going to hit the shoulder and go right on around these guys. Or actually, you know what? We might be okay here if we just do this. 
and hope for the best. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any cars coming. Yeah, that worked out in our favor. Out of my way, United. Um, and then I've got a motion platform V3. That's what you'll see me moving around in my seat from. I look around the cab freely with track IR. And uh, I've got my ASP heavy hauler down here on the right. That's what that box is that everybody sees. Uh, Southern Trucker Gaming, Eaton Fuller 18 speed shifter knob on top of a 10 inch rod that uh, comes off of my Thrustmaster THA -A shifter. Going to, damn, we're getting to eight low already. Nice, in that left lane. Get in that left lane and get going. You know how many times we've been late to our deliveries, like from doing these urgents, man? Because they don't, they really want you to drive like an outlaw, it feels like sometimes. Uh, the guy with a hay, screw him. He's good. They're all good. We don't care about them. There we go. Now we're starting to bury that needle a little bit more. Get closer to 80 miles per hour. We have to climb this hill, though, so let's keep it down into eight low. Get on over here. We can use blinkers optional, but. The biggest thing is that we want to be going as fast as we possibly can. Man, this road is quite bumpy. I'm feeling it in the chair pretty good today. I figured I would be today too because we're going to be getting thrown around driving the way that we're going to be driving here. So that's all right. Let me get a quick screenshot and I'll be right back. And we are back. Let's go ahead and get around these guys. They're going pretty slow. Well, I hope everybody's week was great. Happy Friday to all of you. Like I said, I would debut this this week and uh and here we are doing it actually doing it this time so very nice indeed all right well this feels nice to not be stuck behind all these slow pokes let me tell you we usually get stuck behind them all the time a little faster here now we also don't want to wreck our truck too hard you know we're still trying to get the job done we're just outlaw it doesn't mean we're an absolute idiot and we're going to be rolling our trucks around you know what i mean Oh, yeah, man. We're making good time now, I'll tell you that. Making good time. But like I said, you know, if somebody cuts us off or whatever, we're not lifting. We got a big, huge bull bar on the front of this truck for a reason. Is that Dave up there? I think that's Dave. Let's give him the old bird there. There you are, Dave. What's up, brother? Oh, man. Here we go. Got to deal with these guys. Come on. There you go. Use that Jake break. Get around these guys here. We can bypass a nearby way station. Cool. Great. Grand. Wonderful. I was going to say, I'm not stopping anyway. Welcome to New Mexico, everybody. All right. Slow down here. Because, I mean, even though we're going to be, you know, speeding and stuff, we have to really watch ourselves because these trucks, you know how it is if you've played this game. They tip over really easy. And uh, you still got to be, you know, a little bit really swift here. You still got to be a little bit of, uh, of a decent driver around some of these sharp edges. Oh, man. It's kind of fun to drive like a jackass. Like, obviously, you don't do it in real life, but in the game. Like, this dude here is being ridiculous. Come on, man. driving my brights on here. There, he moved right out of the way when I did that. Oh, we hit somebody back there. Really? Okay. Didn't even know it. Didn't feel it. I don't think our trailer did either. We're good there, though. High beams off. We don't need our headlights on anymore. Keep our secondaries on so we have that beautiful red light inside here. All right, had a frame drop. A big one happened there, so you didn't miss out on anything. We're still cruising here in, the, uh, in this view. Right over here. Let me get into... Eight high. There we go. I was trying to get in that last gear. It took me a while there. Oh, careful here. Got to hit the brakes. That is a sharp corner there, man. Look at that. They aren't messing around with that turn. All right, outside of Farmington, one mile. I think we're doing good so far uh, on time. Yeah, I got to watch that right-hand side over there. I think we smacked the side of a truck earlier. That might have been that Swift driver. I don't know. Oh, look at that. We're going faster than FedEx. 
way faster. Got my uh, skull dancing there in the uh, <laughs> on the river mirror. Well, not river mirror, but the uh, what you call it, the ceiling. This dude's gonna be going slow as hell. I can tell. It's that truck up there. It's not really the Escalade, but we're gonna be uh, tailgating. That's for damn sure. I want to see where like I can't even see his head, his taillights anymore. Here we go, right here. Without hitting him. I'm so close. I could tell I almost hit him there. <laughs> Hard to judge that. Now he's speeding up now. There he goes. As we go downhill. Not sure if we're going to run into any rain today. We might. We might be due for some rain. I don't know why the oil light's on all the time on this truck. Dash. Strange. There we go. Truck out over there. Is this dude going to do the same? I don't know. Yeah, he's starting to speed up a little bit more there, but I mean, still 65 and a 75. Oh, look at that. Smokey Bear got somebody. Ha <laughs> ha. Wasn't me. Not today. Where the hell are we going? We didn't even look. I didn't even look where the hell we were going. That's all right. We're going to find out together. It'll be a uh, surprise. It will be a surprise. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Arizona, though. It might even be Phoenix or something. I didn't look. I just looked at the... Uh, I was looking for the urgent deliveries, you know? And I went with that. Damn, that uh, Escalade started dusting us at the last second. Oh, that's a nice RV right there, man. That is a nice one. Uh, you know, once things with the pandemic start to lighten up a little bit better here, uh, I would love to rent an RV and just go RVing for... A little while if I do something like that I might uh, do a vlog series on that let me know if you uh, if you would like to do that we've been looking at uh, places we want to go after pandemic stuff um, but our wedding anniversary is on Halloween so this year right at the start of November we want to go to Hawaii we've been wanting to go to Hawaii uh, or I have always wanted to go to Hawaii and she has too but uh, we just you know Wanted to wait for the times to be right for that. Oh, man. We are all in the mail right now. Absolutely haul in the mail. Look at that. Woo! That is some lean. Um, <laughs> I am getting thrown around on my chair so much on this drive. Uh, but, yeah. Looks amazing. I think we're going to go to Maui. At one of the resorts there. Ooh, brakes. The PTL driver. Hit the waker uppers. Why not? Oh, look at this. Got a nice grade coming up here. And a sharp turn to the right. Oh, there's a cop here. Oh, he's definitely going to get us. I don't even care. Oh, look at that. He did not. He did not get us. I'm surprised by that, honestly. Hitting the waker uppers. Just kind of apexing our corners here. There's nobody on the left, so let's do it. Works for me. This truck is like so top heavy that I can just feel it wants to roll over. I can just feel it. We're gonna try not to do it, but we're doing all right. There we go. Yeah, a couple of videos back I did uh, a video where I showed all of my mods I use. That's the number one thing I get asked constantly is about the mods. And I honestly just Google things and, and, and just go to all the, the main places, you know, ATSmods.lt, ATSmods.com. Uh, be careful with those sites because, you you know, if you're going to share mods or something like that, a lot of these mods are uh, linked to, uh, you, can, you can get a virus, so it's kind of on you. Uh, I use a lot of Steam Workshop stuff as much as possible, actually. And then I use the SES forums. But anything you can really think of in your brain, if you just Google that and a or ATS and that, it'll pop up. And then, you know, look at the current version of America Truck Sim. 1.39 we're on. So do that and you'll know what's compatible with that. I don't have anybody feeding me links when it comes to, uh, to mods. I go out and I just get what sounds good to me. 
That is cool looking there. Where are we at right now? We are... I'm not really sure where we are. I'm just following the GPS. That's all we're doing here. Got the needle buried at 88 miles per hour, Marty. Now 89. Would have gone back to 55 there. All right, hit the brakes. Got a big turn up here. Slower on down. Woo! Wow, look at the lean. I cannot turn it harder than that. It was going to roll. I could feel it. I could feel it wanting to roll. Ooh, slow down, slow down. We're good. Whoa, man. Whoa. Was it at these speeds? This is not messing around. Like that sharp corner there. Wow. Oh, yep. The rear tires on the uh, on the, the trailer came up a little bit there. I saw. That's all it takes, man. I told you it's gonna be so easy to roll this thing over. That's all right. We'll get it always up to speed again. We're not going to let that guy pass. Come on. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Truly am. All right, so that's Montgomery Boulevard. I have been here before. Okay. Frame drop central. Got to love it. Oh, still doing it. Loading in the city. Oh, I hope this isn't the city that crashed just last time. Last time this city up here, I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm thinking of crashed us out on this turn. Hoping that's not going to happen here, but we'll see. All right, which way are we going here? I know we're exiting. I think we're going Santa Rosa. Nope. Probably Gallup. All the way to the right. Yeah, this is the uh, bridge I was on when it crashed last time we played. That's all good. Nobody coming. Full speed. Kind of apex that, kind of like uh, the bus stop at Watkins Glen there. Here's a car. I'll race him on. All right, we're in Albuquerque, so yeah. We are kicking ass on time, I'll tell you that right now. I'm coming over. There he goes. He had to hit the brakes for me. <laughs> Street. Yeah, it looks like it's smoggy out or something, or it's going to rain. Well, we'll see if that's the case. We will, we will. Yeah, Oddfellows uh, Classic XL, the one we're driving here. This is one of my go-tos in VR, man. I, I have a XL that I just absolutely love. I love the placement of all the mods and everything. I have SISLs, add-ons you can get on Steam Workshop. And then people were asking me about the phone and stuff that I had on the dash. That was just the uh, default, the new stuff that uh, SES added. I think it's a DLC. And uh, that adds all the, the new stuff like the guitar and the back and the American flag and all that kind of stuff that you can do to trucks. But some of these older mods like this, they don't have compatibility for it. I'm trying I'm trying to get past these guys. Come on over here. Yep, make that guy slam on the brakes. That works for me. The traffic's starting to pick up a little bit here. But that's just because we got caught on that hill. And now this orange car is going to go fast again. You watch. So, all right, I'm going to get in this lane. I had to slow down just enough for it. We're fine on fuel. This thing, it holds a lot of fuel in these tanks. We don't have to go to the truck stop yet. There it is over there. If we had to go, we would go right there, but uh, we're good right now. All right, I know it's probably driving us all nuts. Let's find out where we're going. Going to Flagstaff at the Beezer Homes is where we're going. I wanted to make sure uh, y'all knew. Because I'm sure some people were like, where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? Well, one thing's for certain. We won't have any super truckers uh, telling us anything today. 
because we are a super trucker today. Come on. We're a super trucker. Let's load on down the line. Get in this lane here. Nah, just kidding. Just kidding with y'all. No, uh, and, uh, you know, even though we're driving like a jackass and all that, I do want to say a big thanks to all the truck drivers out there that, uh, you know, are out there constantly over the road, moving everything. We appreciate it. I know I do. And we talked last time about how, you know, I was getting comments all the time about, why don't you be a real trucker? Why don't you be a real pilot? Whatever. Like, I'm a YouTuber entertainer. That's what I do. Uh, I have the utmost respect for everybody that does this as a job as a full-time job so thank you guys very much i do appreciate it and i know many others do as well this orange car man i'm telling you what he's starting to get on my nerves hitting the brakes oh, there he goes he moved finally there i got real close to him he moved right on over i was about to bright him with my lights that didn't happen. He got they got the picture real quick. I mean, this thing is a very intimidating looking truck. It's mean looking with the red lights on the front and everything. I would not I would not sit in the left lane if I had a truck like that coming upon my bumper like like we just did to them. All right. Yeah, so I knew we were going to Arizona somewhere. This won't be too bad. East Gallup, one mile. It's a little circus tent. One thing's for certain, when you're driving at like 80 miles an hour everywhere, it's like a damn racetrack. You gotta slow down so much for these curves. Uh, and when you're normally doing the speed limit, you know, you don't have to worry about that so much. But I feel so out of control in some of these turns. Like this turn is a big one, so I'm slowing down for it. Get it in seven low and go, baby. Go. Whoa. <laughs> that one was crazy. Dude, don't do that. And that's how you're going to get ran off the road right there. Turn the bright lights on him here. He wanted to get in front of me so bad. We get a run on him here. We're gonna get around him, just like this. And there's the frame drops. Gotta love it. Yes, I get those too. I've been asked if uh, if I get these, and yes, as you can see, it's just part of America Truck Sim now, man. I'm gonna try to squeeze this car over. There we go. Perfect. Hey, that's how you manage traffic. Move my way how big your truck is. Oh, this is going to be a little more difficult here, it looks like. Oh, we're in eight lower, fine. That's a Prius. Damn Prius. In our way. Uh, use realistic graphics mod by FRKN64. It uses truck physics as well. Make sure that when you go into your settings that you do that. You uh, you turn down all those things. You turn your uh, trailer stability all the way down, your truck stability all the way down, like your uh, stiffness of the suspension. And uh, you'll have similar to what you're seeing here. Hey, we made it to Arizona already. That's not too bad, dude. We're, we're making great time. Oh, we can... Oh, speeding violation. There it is. Whoa, truck slamming brakes in the middle lane. It was that Ranger that did it. Wasn't even that guy. Wasn't even his fault. We should be okay on this corner. No, I think we're going to have to slow down for it. When you see those signs like that, you know it's going to be tight. And it, yep, yeah, it was. Getting the left lane here will kind of apex it out. There we go. Beautiful. Well, we've had uh, one casualty so far. We've uh, we ran that Chevy Sonic off the road pretty good. I mean, he was stuck on our bumper forever. 
which is great. Okay, what are you doing, dude? That's alright, he's gonna stick to the right lane. This one here on the left. We'll just intimidate him a little bit. Why not? I'm using all Jake break right there. Yeah, we're gonna get around him this way. Oh, there he went, right there. Oh, you almost got taken out, buddy. <laughs> last second there. That could have been bad. I'm going to laugh. Oh, he's right there on the right. I'm going to laugh if we get a uh, excellent on this delivery. <laughs> Ramming cards out of the way and stuff. I got the, you know, the biggest engine I could get in this thing too. It's like uh, close to, I think it's like 600 and something horsepower, close to 700. Cat C15. Bumpy, 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 man. Ford Air. Used to see those trucks all the time when I was working at the airport. They were always at the same terminal we were. A couple friends work for them too. I'm sure, not a damn thing around, is there? We're in the middle of the desert. Got the needle buried 94 miles per hour, dude. That is insane. 94. So, I'm for the corner here. Because, I mean, this truck won't come around this corner at 94. We'll come close. We still took that at like 82. That wasn't terrible. Let's ride the line. I'm trying to keep my head sway back and forth, man. But yeah, something happened with the uh, update on my motion rig because I am feeling so much more in the seat than I ever did before. Dude, you're going to get bumped. It'd be hilarious if they brake checked you. We'll see if he does. I've had traffic mods in before that uh, they did that. They brake checked. Not that they would. I don't think they did it on purpose. I think it was just part of their, I don't know, their padding. I'm still 82. Not bad. Maybe it's just going to look like this all the way to Flagstaff and not actually rain. I almost want to give this guy a bump. I do want to give him a bump. <laughs> it's so close. It has to be so close to hitting him. And maybe that'd be a better screenshot if I was like, you know, tailgating somebody. That would be pretty cool, actually, if we did that. We went like full lights. Full lights on his bumper and just absolutely ride the crap out of him. That'd be a good screenshot. I'm going I'm to see if, if I can get something like that done. Oh, this is, this is going to be it right here. Get those brakes, man. And we're back. And we hit him. I figured... Oh, and the, oh, and the NBC 10 truck. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Well, that happened. That's all right. We're all right. Let's keep on going. That's why we got a big bull bar on the front of this truck. I did that for the uh, for the screenshot, but man, it was worth it. It was worth it. I think that's a little bit more uh, interesting looking screenshot than the one I got earlier. We made it here already, though. We did, we did. Who wants to wait for this traffic? Not me. He's turned left. We got a train coming through, it looks like, possibly. Do not stop on tracks. Wouldn't dream of it. 
Well, welcome to Flagstaff. We made it. We had another casualty. Uh, we had that uh, Audi, and then we had the uh, the NBC truck got absolutely wrecked. But I hit the back of that dude, and I think he saw it. Oh, we are on the tracks. Do not stop on the tracks. We are stopped on the tracks. Oh my god, dude, that could be bad. That could be real bad, actually. No, we're good. We're oh, we killed it. We did everything you don't want to do on railroad tracks right there. Legitimately just did it. I'll roll these windows down here. Going straight across. I gotta listen to this beautiful engine. Left turn here. And I think we're delivering here, maybe at the Costco. I don't know. Nope. Further down. Almost hit that top. Yeah, see the RPMs, they drop a little bit more realistically than the last truck. But either way, I think some of the trucks in American Truck Sim, I think their RPMs drop a little too fast compared to the real deal. Sharp curve to the right. And we'll be there. Oh, we missed the turn. That's okay. Don't need it. Come down here and make it right. Nobody coming. We're good. Got a spread axle back there, too. Yeah, you don't want to get in front of this truck running lights, man. We're not going to stand for that. And yep, we're going to this place up here on the right. I haven't been here in forever. I do remember this drop, though. I do remember the drop. right here. I uh, should have really turned for this, but we did not. Uh, we should make that, though. We'll go all the way to the left here. Yep, we're good. Where are we going right over there on the right? I think I remember this drop. Oh, we might be stuck on something. Are we stuck on that fence back there? We might be. I did not uh, think, think give enough room. See if we can get this over the left more. Like right up against this. That's all we needed. I think we just saw on that hill. We couldn't get around that hill. Didn't look like we were on the fence, but maybe we were. We're going right over there on the right. Okay. I know this. I know this one. That's a spread axle on that one, too. Right up here, and then a little bit to the left, and we'll be in a good setup for the drop. So was uh, Outlaw Trucker as chaotic as you thought it would be? Maybe it wasn't enough chaos for you, what you like? Let me know in the comments below. We're going to block traffic here, and they can piss off. You just went ahead right in my truck, didn't you, dude? You didn't even care. Whatever. All right, we need to go that way with it. So we're gonna block the traffic off here. Say screw it. You know what? We're already here. Might as well. We got that turning that way. We're gonna go this way with it. It's not enough on that one. We should be okay here if we just get it in underneath the trailer on the right of this. But getting in here like this. Oh yeah, we're gonna be fine. We gotta straighten it out. We'll be golden here. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's enough room to straighten out here, though. There's not enough. We have to turn sh way more shallow. Okay. It's tight. That's okay, though. We'll, we'll get it in there. Bus, piss off. You're not gonna. They just ran. <laughs> they just ram right into you. They don't care. 
Move your stupid bus. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is a little hectic, isn't it? All right, let's get it right on there like that. And then back it on up like this. So we'll go back to about right there. And then we'll get underneath the trailer. We should be good. Yeah, we just had to turn it a little later. That's all. Yeah, this is it right here. This is the win. And that's the winning formula. Get it going that way to the right and then left. We can see it again and then straighten it on out. There we go like that. Let it come on back and then right. There we go. That's exactly where we needed to drop it. A few more casualties on that one. There we go. We did it. Kill the engine. And let's see uh, what we ended up getting here. And there you go. We got an excellent 576 miles, 8 hours, 24 minutes, 160.3 gallons of fuel consumed from Pueblo to Flagstaff. Not bad at all. And we were not late. So that's all that matters. Uh, we got it done. We got it done. So let me know what you would like to see in the Outlaw Trucker series. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Hello, everybody. It's Jeff. I uh, just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.